Yeah, I would like to ask you a little bit more about the spending on the pandemic. Um, America did not do incredibly well on uh, the health outcomes from the pandemic. Um, how is that how is that money being spent and do you see it as being spent in the right places during the pandemic for the pandemic well we spent a lot uh you're right i mean five trillion dollars when you add it all up that began with the cares act that was passed in march of 2020 right after the pandemic hit under president trump uh, and then we had a couple of other packages and then of course it ended with the american rescue plan that was the last covid relief plan that was passed in march of 2021 so over that Roughly one year period, five trillion dollars. That that's a lot of that's a lot of spending. That's uh you know close to twenty five percent of GDP at the time, uh, and uh, you know it it had it succeeded in some very important respects, right, Francis? I mean, for example, the unemployment rate today mm-hmm. is three point four percent. That's about as low as it's ever been, and that goes to just that response. It was you know incredibly aggressive in trying to support the economy, and it got us back fast. Uh, it, you know, it has contributed, uh, but, but here we are, we were, there's been a lot of debate uh, about whether the, all that uh, spending has contributed to the high inflation that we're suffering right now and the interest rate hikes the Federal Reserve is engineering to try to quell that high inflation. Uh, in my view, uh, that it was a, certainly the case back uh, in 2021 going into 2022. Demand got juiced up by all that support and uh, the labor market got disrupted by all of that support and that conspired to push up inflation. I don't think that's contributing significantly to the inflationary problems we have right now. That's a host of other uh, reasons we can talk about. But there's there's but having said that, it's a reasonable debate and we can have a lot of discussion around that. Uh, I do think at this point, uh, you know, there are still some unspent COVID relief money that's sitting out there and that was being that's being pulled back in to help pay for this debt limit agreement and i think that makes you know you can there's a lot of things that want to be the states and others want to do with that money but i i see that if you need to save money that's a reasonable place to do it because um you know we did spend a lot on getting the economy back up and running and you can question how well we spent the money i mean it did highlight a, a number of real uh, problems in our in the way we uh, deliver help to the to the economy. Unemployment insurance is a great example. That was a big part of the cost. You know, if you become unemployed, you get a check, and that un- unemployment insurance system is a is a uh, program that has uh, the federal government involved and state governments involved, and that really did not work very well at all in lots of different respects. So, uh, you know, hopefully, lawmakers of the future take the lessons that we learned during the pandemic. Uh, identify those uh, areas where uh, we can make uh, some changes and actually make those reforms because uh, you know that we didn't need to spend five trillion dollars to get to the place where we are today. 